This is how to draw the moon inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Diagraphics. So the first thing we need to do is simply to create a circle. So go to the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key and draw a circle. Now go to the selection tool, duplicate the circle by holding down the alt key, click on the circle, then drag the copy to the side and hold down the shift key to make sure it's on a straight line. Now pull the copy a little bit to the side and release the mouse key. Now select both circles, go to the shape builder tool, click on these two shapes and hold down the alt key to subtract this shape. This leaves us with these two shapes. Then select both shapes again, click the stroke and disable the stroke. Now pick the fill again and select this shape right here and give this shape the color that you want for your moon. I will choose this light yellow right here. If you want the same colors as me, I will show the RGB hex codes later in this video. And please give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Now select the other shape and select a slightly darker color for this one as it is going to be the shadow of the moon. Now select the ellipse tool again, hold down the shift key and draw a tiny circle. Give the fill of this circle the same color as the shadow of the moon and select the stroke and give the stroke of this circle the same color as the light side of the moon. Make the stroke a little bit wider. Now go to the selection tool and grab the circle and drop it into the moon. Now make some duplicates of this crater and make sure to scale them up and down to vary the sizes of the craters. Make sure to make some craters overlap this shadow line right here to give the illustration some details. Now to add a bit more details to the moon, we are going to add some craters to the edge of the moon. So select one of these craters, duplicate it to the outside of the moon, then squeeze it to make it a small ellipse and place these ellipses onto the edge of the light side of the moon. We are going to do something slightly different on the shadow side. To make it more realistic, don't make more than half the crater stick out of the edge of the moon. And for the shadow side of the moon, copy one of these elliptical craters to the shadow side, then remove the stroke and place it just like this. I hope you're having an amazing day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.